What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to discuss everything you need to know about buying soccer cleats on eBay. Multiple times a day, people send me eBay listings asking whether or not the product is authentic based on the pictures, based on the listing, if the seller is trustworthy, why is the price what it is, is it too high, is it too low? There's a lot of risk and questions involved when it comes to buying something on eBay, especially soccer cleats. So it can be very, very risky. With that said, I have a lot of experience with buying soccer cleats on eBay. I've been doing it for the last five or six years. So I definitely think that it is a useful tool, but it's also not the best place to buy the majority of soccer cleats that a lot of people are trying to buy. I'll explain why that is in today's video and essentially come to the conclusion as to whether or not it's a good or bad idea for you to be using eBay to purchase your next pair of soccer cleats. So if that's something that you're interested in finding out, stick around and watch the entire video and if you guys enjoy these topic videos want to see more be sure to support the video with a like so what is ebay in the first place because a lot of people are confused about that ebay is not an actual store when you buy a product on ebay it's not coming from ebay itself you haven't purchased a product from them ebay is simply a platform that connects buyers and sellers any person any business, any random at all can go on eBay, make an account and list an item that they have for sale at whatever price they're looking to sell it at. And when you go on eBay, there's three ways to purchase products. It can either be an auction, it can be a buy it now price, or you can make an offer. There is room for negotiation. Because of that negotiation room, a lot of people like eBay because they feel like they can get the best possible deal there. And often you can get a good deal on eBay, but when it comes to soccer cleats, it's not always the best place to buy. If you are looking to buy a soccer cleat on eBay, there are three things you really, really have to look out for. Authenticity, the price, and the seller. Authenticity is something that you really have to look out for on eBay, and that's where there's a huge amount of risk. So basically what I'm referring to is counterfeit products. This is a product that, if we use a Superfly 5 as an example, is listed as a Nike Mercurial Superfly 5, even though that product is not actually made by Nike at all. It's a counterfeit, it's a fake, it's a replica, it's an economical version. There's lots and lots of names for these. Sometimes they will be described as counterfeit, but often they will be described as real. And the pictures are generally the giveaway. You can tell a fake product from an authentic product if you really know your stuff. But if you're somebody that's not as educated, if you're not as familiar with the product that you're actually buying, that's where eBay probably isn't the best option for you because you can easily get scammed because some counterfeit products are fairly convincing in terms of how they look in the pictures that are posted. So you really have to be careful to not buy a counterfeit product because trust me guys, you do not want a counterfeit version of any shoe at all. It's made to look like the real thing, but any performance characteristics, the fit, the durability, none of that is even close to the real thing. Counterfeit products are essentially organized crime. Nike is not allowing any brand to make fake versions of the Nike Mercurial Superfly 5, but because it is such a common thing in China where they don't necessarily have the authority to shut these down, it's just something that happens. It's something that is part of the eBay market. So you really, really have to be careful about buying a counterfeit product, especially if you're gonna be paying a premium price for a product that is basically worth nothing. Low prices is another reason why people like eBay. The fact that you can negotiate, depending on the seller, is attractive to a lot of people. And because you can negotiate, there is that perception that you're going to save money. You're gonna get the best possible deal on the eBay platform. With that said, if you're going on eBay searching for the latest products, if you do find that latest product that just came out at a price that is far cheaper than any legitimate online retailer, guess what? That price is too good to be true. You are very, very likely buying a counterfeit or you're simply getting scammed altogether. That is where you need to avoid eBay. eBay is not the right place to go buy the latest products. Here's a fact that a lot of people don't know. 
if you are a legitimate store, either you have a physical location or you sell online and you have an actual account with these big manufacturers like Nike, Adidas, Puma, whoever it might be, if you have a wholesale account where you can actually buy the product to sell at your store at a marked up retail price, you're not allowed to sell those products on eBay, even at the full retail. So the people that you find listing this stuff on eBay are either trying to resell authentic product, very, very unlikely, because why would they buy something at full retail and then sell it for less on eBay? Or two, much more likely, they're simply trying to scam you. They have a counterfeit version or they're not looking to send you anything at all. They just want your money. So if you're planning on buying the latest products, avoid eBay entirely. Not only is it much more risky, but you're also not going to find a better deal. And finally, perhaps the biggest risk on eBay is down to the actual seller. Like I said, anybody can make an eBay account and sell any item, even if they don't have that item. Unfortunately, not everybody selling something on eBay has good intentions. They are on eBay to scam you. They just want your money, regardless of who you are, regardless of what product you're trying to buy. They don't really care. They are legitimately trying to steal from you. So when you go on eBay, obviously every eBay account has some kind of reputation. The sellers rate the buyers, the buyers rate the sellers. So with that reputation, it is definitely something that you should look at when buying a product from anybody on eBay. With that said, there are a lot of people selling products for the first time, and because they are selling something for the first time, they have no reputation whatsoever. You're kind of just going based on their word, based on the pictures, based on the description that they've put for that particular product. You don't know if they're honest, you don't know if they're scammers. So again, that's something you really have to be aware of. Just a personal story, I have purchased stuff on eBay, mainly older shoes, where the pictures are right, the descriptions are good, I've asked questions, all the answers were right, I pay the price that the seller is asking, and then the product arrives at my house, and it's counterfeit, it's not the real thing, it's not the same thing that they had in their pictures, all they did was scam me because they bought that counterfeit product for 30 bucks. They sold it to me for two, 300. And guess what? They made a huge profit off me. And it's very, very difficult at that point to recover your money, to get your money back. You have some protection through credit card companies and PayPal, but for the most part, if you receive something that looks at all like what you said or what you were supposed to be purchasing, they're not going to vouch for you. It is mainly more the seller who's going to be, uh, I guess, getting the advantage in regards to any kind of dispute versus the buyer. So that's something you definitely have to be aware of is you don't always know the intentions of the seller, even if everything looks 100% correct. Another thing to consider when it comes to buying soccer cleats on eBay is the service aspect. The fact that when you buy 99% of products on eBay, you won't have the opportunity to return or exchange that product should you change your mind, should the product not fit you properly, should you want something else, you can't go back. Once you've made that purchase, you are stuck with it. So if it doesn't end up being exactly what you wanted, even if it is what you thought you were buying, there's nothing you could do about it. You're out whatever money you paid for that particular item. Whereas if you do buy from a soccer retailer who sells authentic product, often they do have return policies, often they do have exchange policies. You won't even have to pay for return shipping most of the time. Where on eBay, if even if they do have a return policy, you're gonna have to pay for that shipping and you're gonna also have to pay to have it reshipped back to you with that exchange item. It's a much longer process. And like I said, just much more risky in general. Buying from an online retailer is definitely the safest way to go if you're not 100% sure that the product you're going to receive is going to be right for you. So if you shouldn't buy new boots, the latest products on eBay, should you use it at all? And the answer to that question is yes, eBay is still a useful tool, but for a certain type of soccer cleat, and that is older models and older colorways. That's the only time I'll go on eBay to buy something or to find something that I'm looking for. A lot of you guys always ask where I get a lot of the older models that I have in my collection, and honestly, 99% of them over the years I've been purchased on eBay. So the older Predators, the older T90s, the Tiempos, the Mercurials that I have behind me, all of that stuff has come from eBay. And it takes time. You do a search on eBay for whatever product you're looking for. And sometimes you might find exactly that product in the condition, the size you want, the seller is trustworthy, the price is good, and everything works out fine. But that is not always the case. Sometimes 
everything looks good and what you end up receiving is a counterfeit product or somebody tried to scam you or it just doesn't work out for whatever reason. The product is not as described. Again, there is a sketchiness level to eBay in general. There is risk involved whenever you purchase any item, even sometimes when the seller has good feedback. I have bought stuff from sellers that have good feedback and the product was not as described or the product wasn't exactly what it was supposed to be. That is something that does happen on eBay more often than I would like it to happen, but unfortunately that is the reality of buying stuff on this website. I have actually gone on eBay looking for stuff and found pictures from my own website of the, on their listing showing the product that they supposedly took pictures of for sale. Do they actually have that product? I don't really know, but they're just using somebody else's picture to sell something. So again, that kind of tells you the intention of some sellers that unfortunately there's just no way to know. So when you buy something on eBay, I would only really recommend using it if you're buying something that you can no longer buy at an actual store that is 100% legitimate. And again, when you buy on eBay, consider all the factors, know what you're buying, look at the seller's feedback, look at the pictures, make sure you know exactly what you're supposed to be getting. And once you make that purchase, hope that it's actually what you wanted. Anyways, moral of the story here is that eBay is a website that you should buy from as kind of a last resort when it comes to soccer cleats. If you want the newest stuff, buy it from an actual retailer. Not only are you guaranteed to get exactly what you're paying for, you're often going to get a better price as well. I very, very rarely ever see the new stuff on eBay for less than what you can buy it at a retailer for with a coupon code or something like that. So again, new stuff, avoid eBay entirely. When it comes to older stuff that is harder to come by, again, you can look on eBay. It is a good tool to try and find that kind of stuff. But again, do your research, know exactly what you're looking for. Look at the seller feedback, make sure you have a really good idea of what you are buying prior to making your purchase. And once you have made that purchase, hope that everything works out because again, sometimes it is difficult to tell whether or not the seller has good intentions or they're just trying to scam you. Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. If you have any questions for me at all regarding buying soccer cleats on eBay, leave them down below in the comments and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information linked down below in the description as well. And other than that guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.